Hey guys, welcome to another how-to tutorial. And today, we're going to make an infinite world, just like what you see on Minecraft. Uh, we're going to make it with uh, Unity 3D, so let's go ahead and fire that up right now. So uh, We're going to create a new project. Um, leave it there. Um, the packages that you want to check is a uh, character controller. And um, terrain assets. And that's all you need. Um, and uh, yeah, create. And this is probably going to take a while. Okay, oh, what's this? Okay. Shouldn't really look like this. There you go. Okay. So, <clears throat> you're going to have something like this. And what you're going to want to do first is uh, create a terrain. You want to create a floor. So, um, you want to go click on terrain, create a terrain. Uh, you're going to have terrain like this. Zoom out. Alright. And we're going to go back into the terrain section and click on set resolution. Um, and set resolution, uh, change your width, your terrain width to 500. And your terrain length to 500. And, um, yeah. Set resolution. So you're going to have something like this, just a plain old terrain. There is an end to it. Um, let's go ahead and add a light right now. Um, we're going to click on game object and then create other. And we're going to put it in a directional light. And we're going to pull this back a bit. Right about there is good. And so we have a floor like that. Um, for this terrain, let's uh, let's go click on terrain in your hierarchy panel, and uh, go to your inspector view, and go to the paintbrush. Oh uh, yeah, paint textures, and there should be a button called edit textures. Go ahead and click that. Uh, add a texture, and we're gonna select one. Probably put a cliff and a cliff and a double and whatever. Um, that's what it looks like. So you have a world like that, actually. Yeah. Now, once we have a world, our terrain all set up, let's go ahead and go to our project panel and go to character controller and go ahead and drop the first person controller onto there. Doesn't matter where you set them. Uh, zoom in on the character by pressing F on your keyboard and go ahead and check him out there. Um, he should not be under the ground or like like this. He shouldn't be like that. Let me pull him back up. Well, we can actually do this. Back to the original. Just make sure he's above the ground. Um, once, once you have set your, uh, your first person controller in, uh, we're going to go ahead and make this world infinite. So what I mean by that is we'll go ahead and push play and we're going to walk to the edge. Actually, he's walking pretty slow, so we'll change the speed for him right there. Um, movement, I'm just changing the speed just so. We can get him falling over the edge of our world. So we're going to walk forward and uh, we're going to slow down uh, wherever the edge is at, which is right here. Oh, God. Okay, fell. Um, yeah, so I fell over the edge. There's no more terrain. Blah, 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 blah. We don't want that to happen. So what do we do? What do we do? Okay, well, what we do is... Uh, get the infinite terrain uh, script I provided and we're going to go ahead and drop it into my cest folder uh, project panel into the cest folder 
And we'll get this where we dropped. Jack and dropped it. Um, we'll put it in our terrain. Make sure your terrain is selected in the hierarchy. It will pop up in your inspector. Go ahead and drag and drop. And what you have here is the infinite terrain script. You're not done yet. You need to add the player object to the script. So how did how do you do that? Well, um, you can click on this little tiny dot over here, and you can click that first player controller. I'd rather not. Let's choose just graphics, which is our actual player. Oops. Here he is, this is the guy. So we'll drag and drop. Oop. You want to select the terrain first. Grab the graphics controller and drag and drop them there. Alright. So now that we have everything set up, that's all we need, really. So uh, go ahead and push play. Speed is at 50, and you'll see that my world is infinite. There's no end. I will not fall over the edge. Thank God. And that is it, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any um, questions, go ahead and leave it in a comment below. Or PM me if you would like. Um, if you have any tutorials, ideas that you want to see, go ahead and send me a message. And I would make them. Uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe. Helps me a lot. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.